Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. No matter the trial you're enduring, there is no reason not to hope in God because God is there with you. He promises to never leave you, to walk through life with you. You will never walk alone and all you need to do is call out on him. It's Matthew 6, 34, it says, Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Amen. Just a few verses before we are reminded God takes care of the needs of the birds, of the air, and the clothes of the fields that are here today and gone tomorrow. That is in Matthew 6, 20, 26 to 30. Even if the solutions that meet our problems don't look as we imagine they should, the Lord asks us to simply focus on the present and take the steps in front of us, trusting he will see to it that our needs are ultimately met. Philippians 4, 8, and it says, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellency, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. It's easy to be discouraged. In fact, it seems to be our de facto mode of operation these days. Our social media feeds, news broadcasts, and email inboxes are littered with things that disappoint us, concern us, and remind us time and time again that our collective sense of normalcy has been totally pulled out from under us. But we shouldn't store up treasures in this life. It's temporary. It's, this life is just temporary.